Hello everybody, Pat the Video Guy here for PelletSmokerGrill.com. And uh, if you're looking for a great gift for Father's Day, something unique, something special, then may I suggest a Pellet Smoker Grill or its Pellet Smoker. Let me go into the details as to why, but these are really great, especially for that man in your life who likes to cook or likes to be the grill master in the backyard. So let's take a look at them. Okay, let's start off with a Pellet Smoker Grill. This is kind of a combo unit. The model that I'm showing you here is the Pit Boss Austin XL. There are a lot of great models out there. This just happens to be the one that I'm using, but I think it's one of the best bangs for your buck out there. It really is. And they're simple to use, okay? If you, if one of your concerns are if they're you know real tough to use or um, real difficult to maintain, they're not. Believe me, they're not. Okay, real simple. You get pellets. They come, they come in bags. This is what the pellets look like, okay? Wood pellets, compressed hardwoods, and they go in here. This particular model has a glass um, viewing thing so you can see how full the hopper is. That's a nice feature to have. Okay, you have a temperature here, a thermometer up there. You've got a digital readout down here. This is where all the magic happens. And the Austin XL has a, a huge cooking uh, surface and there's also another place there for a second shelf um, up there. I just rarely use it. This also has a direct flame capability. I can slide over the grease plate. Direct flames come up so if you want that direct flame searing ability you can do that with this model. Anyway, it's a great, great situation right there. Um, pellet uh, grills and smokers, they require a little bit of electricity, mainly to get um, to heat up a rod so that they can ignite the pellets to get the fire going inside, inside a little fire box down in there. And then after that, all that's being um, uh, all the electricity is for is for a fan, is for the auger, the auger that will move the pellets from the hopper to where the firebox is, and the digital readout. So you're only using uh, about like a 60 or 100 watt light bulb worth of electricity to keep it going after it's going. A lot of different models and a lot of different accessories that you can get. Um, Wi-Fi, wi so you can see what the temperature is on your phone, if you're far away or whatever. Pellet smoker grills, probably the, the most convenient way to get the wood-fired grilling experience uh, or smoking experience um, out there because you just, you're working with pellets. You're not out chopping wood or anything like that. They're, they're really great. Very convenient, easy to use, easy, easy to clean. There are tons of YouTube videos out there so that if someone wants to see, well, how do I cook chicken or how do I cook turkey? Um, you can see a lot of different videos. There are a lot of videos on pelletsmokergrill.com. Let that be a resource for you too. Um, these can go, these can go, I think, all the way to 500 degrees or more and all the way down to like 150 degrees. I think that's what it is. Yeah, this, I think the lowest smoke setting on here is about 150 or so. They're great units, great combo units. So if you want to grill and smoke, this is the way to go. But if you already have a grill you love and you don't want to part with, or maybe that father in your life does not want to part with their special grill, whatever that is, then maybe a pellet smoker is what you want. And let's take a look at that. All right, 99% of the time when we want to smoke something, you know, turkey, chicken, brisket, uh, pork shoulder, whatever, we'll go with a vertical smoker. In my opinion, vertical smokers are better smokers than pellet smoker grills. And I think it's a design thing because the, they, they work pretty much the same, but the design is I think it keeps the smoke that rises up from the bottom closer around the meat rather than the horizontal design where it can allow more of it to escape around the meat and out the, out the chimney. These, especially with the big door, the vertical smokers here, I like being able to, we have you know, multiple racks and whatnot, but I like being able to easily put stuff in, take stuff out. That's why I like a big door on there. And uh, as you can see, <laughs> I use these a lot, so they don't, you don't, these are not showroom models, so that's why they look dirty and stuff, because they get used a lot. But in my opinion, um, having pellet smoker, either grill or, or, or vertical smoker, is a great way to go, makes an awesome gift for that man in your life who really likes to cook and really wants to up their game for their backyard barbecues and whatnot. Some of the more important things I think to think about um, is get the one that's got the get the ones that uh, have the features that you're looking for, and kind of go through them. 
Um, if you're looking at them online or doing your research, look for um, reviews. Look at customer reviews. Look at, um, um, are, you know, is, is delivery free? What kind of sales are going on? And this is a great time of year to buy a pellet grill or <clears throat> pellet smoker because there are a lot of sales going on. Um, and when you get it, make sure you get at least one or two bags of some pellets so that you can start right off the bat rather than just having it delivered, you, you assemble it and you don't have any pellets. So get some pellets with it. Um, that's another question that comes up. What kind of pellets should I get? In my opinion and in my experience, Traeger pellets um, are not as smoky as a lot of other pellets, but they burn hotter. And if you like to make steaks and want to, you want high heat, then Traeger pellets are really good for high heat, just not as great for smoke. Um, I prefer, and I, I just go to Lowe's to get a bag of the Competition Blend Pit Boss um, pellets. Great price on those, usually at Lowe's. Um, you can order them online. Um, Cooking pellets online is another great one. Those are the ones that I tend to use the most because they, they give a good, rich smoke flavor and, and whatnot. And so, but you can get pellets almost anywhere, which makes pellet grills and smokers really great gift to get because you don't have to go to a specialty store to, uh, to get the things that you need to make them run. And so anyway, that's my recommendation. A unique, great gift for dad. Get him a pellet smoker grill, a combo unit so you can, you can grill and smoke, or a vertical smoker if someone really wants to do a lot of meat smoking. So there you go. All right, if you like this video, I hope you'll um, subscribe to the channel and click the like button and whatnot. And please visit pelletsmokergrill.com where you can see a bunch of other articles and videos and whatnot on how to use a pellet smoker grill, how to cook things on it. And so anyway, looking forward to see you again when we make more videos. Have a great Father's Day.